In the verse we're covering today, uh, Jesus is going to lay down just how big of a change uh, we as humans need to make in the way uh, we perceive our relationship with him or religion or whatever you want to call it. Uh, just the difference between the way it's always been and the reason Jesus came here that we might have a better relationship, closer relationship with God. Uh, he's going to use in the next verses a few different ways to illustrate this. Uh, we call them parables. These are actually very short parables because they're only uh, a sentence or two. And what Jesus is doing, he's taking the familiar and using it to illustrate something uh, spiritual that we have trouble seeing, we have trouble recognizing. So he takes something that we'll clearly understand and puts it in that context. So let's go ahead and read the verse and dig in. Uh, it's Luke chapter five, verse 36. It says, then Jesus gave him this illustration or parable. No one tears a piece of cloth from a new garment and uses it to patch up an old garment. For the new garment would be ruined and the new patch wouldn't even match the old garment. Okay, so what he's talking about here is clothes, right? I mean, we all wear clothes every day and uh, we've certainly had clothes that uh, wear thin, get a little dingy um, and, and we want to get new ones, freshen them up, whatever. Uh, what he's saying is the new clothing is the new age of relationship with God that Jesus is entering in by his sacrifice, by his grace. Uh, just that relationship part of it. The old garment in this respect would be the law or the way people have always practiced religion, including, as we know, the Pharisees. Uh, he, he's outlining the fact that nobody would buy a new shirt or whatever and cut pieces out of it to patch up an old shirt. Uh, it just wouldn't work. I mean, not only would it look look bad and, and messy and you'd waste the money you just spent on the new garment, but like if you went and washed it, the one shirt's already shrunk, the other one hasn't yet, so it would just it would just deform it and make it worse than it already is. And and what he's relating to here, obviously, is is the law, the Old Testament law versus grace, Jesus' grace, that he sacrificed himself for forgiveness uh, of our sins and our wrongdoings. And, and he's, he's basically illustrating that, hey, the law, you might think it's good. You might like it. It might be your favorite shirt right now, Pharisees. You think that if you could live up to that law, that you're going to get closer to God, get closer to me. But nothing could be further from the truth. The fact is, you've got to throw that away because we've got something new. We've got something better. And that's me. I'm coming here to pay the price of the, sh the shortcomings and, and bring forgiveness and bring grace and bring that relationship with God. God knows who you are. And he knew it when you made that law, when he made that law and you try living up to it, that nobody can do it, not even to this day. And that's what makes this parable so awesome because he's saying it's just just like an old piece of clothing throw that away it doesn't matter here it is i love you enough that i'm going to give myself for you that you might be right before god you might be able to have that relationship with god even as sinful as you are and that right there my friends is the heart of the gospel and it is so awesome just the fact that god does love us just the way we are uh, we don't have to live up to the law. It's, it's great to try and be the best person we can be. We should all do that. But our salvation does not depend on it. Our salvation depends on Jesus' sacrifice that he made for you and me out of love. And we should do our best to share that love uh, with everybody we come across. So I hope that encourages you this Wednesday. Uh, we'll catch you next week on Wednesday Wisdom. In the meantime, uh, we're going to be at Sebring uh, with the USF 2000 Championships this weekend and then at Texas next weekend. So a busy time for IndyCar ministry. Uh, we just ask for your prayers and support during this time. And uh, thank you, as always, for joining us on Wednesday Wisdom.